flooding in homes and businesses. Of course it did, Chris, it's 2020. It's 2020, and normally we would probably talk about that as a kind of novelty, but we don't have time right now. Tropical storm beta. Don't even get me started. All right, we're watching this storm again, and it's going to be a slowly developing system right now. Wind shear is keeping it kind of elongated. In other words, we don't see thunderstorms all developing around the center. In fact, the thunderstorms, main thunderstorms are being displaced because of that wind shear. An upper trough over Texas is creating a southwesterly wind shear, so it's exposing the center and keeping all of the convection away from the center. So unless this can kind of get better aligned, we're not going to see any rapid intensity. Now, the Hurricane Center is thinking we will start to see that potential as we get into the weekend and early part of next week and an eventual turn toward the west. Remember, we've got a cold front that's going to suppress this down to the south. An eventual motion toward Texas. Big question as to whether or not it actually moves inland, maybe around the Corpus Christi area before making a turn and yes, a turn back toward Louisiana. So at some point as we get into the weekend, this track line will continue to extend. And so we will find Southeast Louisiana for the fifth time this season under a cone from a tropical system. Unbelievable. These are the forecast models from beta. Again, they're in good agreement as to the eventual trend of the storm, exactly where it makes that turn, exactly where it makes a turn along the coast or inland is still very much a gigantic question mark from the storm. So we kind of take it in steps. Here's what we know right now. Big upper trough is drawing moisture from the western Gulf and from beta over Louisiana. As a matter of fact, that's what kept us under cloudy skies and the light rain that we saw today. Also on the back side of that trough, you've got some drier air, which is being fed near the center of the storm. We're also watching Watching not only this upper trough, but another upper trough, which is deepening across the central United States. This upper trough is going to be pushing the cold front south, but it's also helping to draw beta toward the north, which is why it is at the moment making a track towards the north. This pushes our cold front on through. As we get into the latter part of the weekend and early next week, an upper ridge builds in. This is the reason why we start to see beta make that trek toward Texas. Big question as to how strong this ridge is. If it's strong enough, it may push beta right inland over Texas. And then as this ridge moves out, another trough starts to deepen. And that's why we start to see the turn toward the northeast. Also, with this upper trough, not only does it start drawing the storm or forcing the storm toward the northeast, it creates wind shear, which is why the Hurricane Center is saying it does become a Category 1 hurricane and then after starts weakening again. So. I would think by the time we see it moving in our direction, it will be a weakening storm. Right now, the Euro by Wednesday afternoon has the storm already well inland. So by the time it's moving in our direction, it's weakening. The GFS does have it maybe right along the coastline, but we're not going to know for certain until we really get into Monday to see whether or not the storm actually moves inland. Bit of coastal flooding is possible with that southeasterly wind and rainfall likely as we get into the middle of the end of next week. But as far as totals go, that's where they stand right now as a potential. It all depends on the future of beta. Cloud cover has been fairly extensive over the uh, southeast Louisiana all day today, as so have the sh light showers. Nothing particularly heavy that will continue through the overnight. It hasn't been a pretty day, but it was a cooler day. 80 degrees right now. Temperatures in the upper 70s and low 80s. Dew points in the upper 60s and low 70s. And drier air is just up to our north. That will start moving in by tomorrow morning. So it will be less humid and cooler as we get into the weekend. Highs by Sunday only in the upper 70s, but we'll keep the clouds and rainfall around. At the moment, I'm thinking late Wednesday and into Thursday, some of the heavier rain associated with beta, but this is going to be a very much changing forecast and just something we have to watch as we head into next week. And before that, 70s. Yes. Oh, yeah. Yay! By the way, we're going to be in the 70s and it's going to feel a whole lot nicer. That's why I'm saying relax this weekend. Enjoy it feeling a little bit nicer out there. I will. Thanks, Chris.